Hello everyone, my name is Baz, and this is a video of my native plant garden in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada for the North American Native Plant Society's video contest. Um, over here we have some species I like to grow in the shade. I have over 80 species of plants native to Ontario growing here, uh, such as this little blue stem right there. We have nine species of grasses. There's some snowberry. So in the shade garden we have wild geranium, Virginia water leaf, zigzag goldenrod, some hemp dogbane growing on the side, different species of sedges, wild strawberry. We have wild zinnia, we have giant zinnia right here, uh, which is just there as things mature. This garden's only about a year or two old, so this won't be here next year, but the other stuff will be. You can see in here some liatris, some dense blazing star, more little blue stem. Uh, one of my favorite plants, this in here is the Desmodium canadense, the showy tick trefoil, and leafcutter bees really like it too. You can see where leafcutter bees have cut sections out to line their nests in, so that's really cool. Uh, the classic cut plant, lots of New England aster, cut leaf cone flower. These are all kind of taller plants that will grow in as time goes by. Here, this area is the wettest area, so we have cardinal flower. There's also great blue lobelia in there, swamp milkweed, different types of wet plants like that. Uh, we also have lots of signage to try to educate neighbors and sort of spread the word. So we have this water-wise sign from Green Up next to a nice patch of wild columbine. Uh, we also have a pollinator habitat from Xerxes Society, Monarch Watch, and Canadian Wildlife Federation. So just to let people know sort of what we're doing. Uh, yeah. Cool plants like bog goldenrod in there, lots of wild bergamot, lots of bone set, uh, switchgrass. Uh, some heath aster in there. Uh, right next to it is a very small giant sunflower, some false sunflower, switchgrass. The Rudbeckia triloba is not native to here, but um, after this year it'll eventually get phased out. There'll be a lot more Indian grass. You can see this area as well. There's a lot of Indian grass growing in here. We have a butterfly weed, sky blue aster. And a lot of it's just getting started, so we have to thank our native plant nursery, Grow Wild, located in Omimi, for most of our plants. And if we win, the money will go to them. So thanks, Grow Wild.